good afternoon children yes we started the play yesterday the proposal written by andrin checker a russian writer so in this play we have already read like how uh, lomov come to propose natalia the reason being that he is already at a critical stage that is already 35 and moreover he has some medical problems he is not that physically fit you can say suffers from palpitation anxiety and all so he thinks that he must settle now and uh, the other reason is that uh, natalia and lomov both are land owners so both of them status wise also have the same backgrounds so lomov comes over there and uh, another problem with him that he cannot talk about the things in a straight way manner so he he is when he is just uh, you know introducing himself or telling natalia or uh, natalia the reason of his coming then he just mentions uh, the of uh, the meadows which happen to be a cause of dispute between natalia and lomov and later, later on even father natalia's father will also be involved in the same thing right so natalia and lomov they both uh, uh, you know start fighting or uh, disputing over the issue that those meadows were where natalia claimed her right upon the meadows and same was about lomov so both of none of them was ready to take back okay both of them you know claimed their own rights then when the father would come let's see then what happens so then <clears throat> then chobukov comes what's the matter what are you shouting for so natalia says papa please tell this gentleman who owns oxen meadows we or he then chobukov says darling the meadows are ours but please stefan uh, stepnovich how can they be yours do be a reasonable man my aunt's grandmother gave the meadows for the temporary and free use of your grandfather's farmers so the peasants used the land for 40 years and got accustomed to it as if it was their own when it happened that excuse me my precious you forget just this that the peasants didn't pay your grandmother and all that because the meadows were in dispute and so on and now everybody knows that they are ours it means that you haven't seen the plan i'll prove to you that they are mine you won't prove it my darling i shall dear one why why yell like that you won't prove anything just by yelling i don't want anything of yours and don't intend to give up what i have why should i and you know my beloved that if you propose to go on arguing about it i would much sooner give up the meadows to the peasants than to you there so he has uh, the very uh, you can say logical mind also logical logical or illogical he says that if you keep on claiming the meadows like this then uh, i'll pre i'll prefer to give the meadows to the farmers i won't give it to you i don't understand how have you the right to give away something that is mine or how can you give away the somebody else's property you may take it that i know whether i have the right or not because young man i'm not used to being spoken to in that tone of voice and so on uh, i young man am twice your age and ask you to speak to me without agitating yourself and all that so this elderly man also has his own uh, you know way of uh, you attitude he says that i don't want you to talk to me like this the way you are talking no you just think i am a fool and want to have me on you call my land yours and then you want me to talk to you calmly and politely good neighbors don't behave like that stephen stepnovich you are not a neighbor you are a grabber what a, what's that what did you say papa sent the mowers out to the meadows at once what did you say sir oxen meadows are ours and i shan't give them up shan't give them up shan't give them up no more we'll see i'll have the matter taken to court and then i'll show you to court you can take it to court and all that you can i know you you are just on the lookout for a chance to go to court and all that you petty fogger all your people were like that all of them so children these very people chobukov and lomov just about 10 minutes before these people were telling each other that they they had 
all respect for each other and their parents and their families. Just within 10 minutes, the mere mention of one land has made them to come to the, to show their reality, okay? He calls him a grabber and now he calls him a petty farmer. Never mind about my people, the Lomovs have all been honorable people and not one has ever been tried for embezzlement like your grandfather. So just a few minutes before these people were talking so high about each other's families. And now even Lomov is no, no less. He says that we people have never been, uh, you know, involved in any cases of embezzlement like your father, like your grandfather. You Lomovs have had lunacy in your family. Lunacy is like speak of madness. All of you, all, all, all. Your grandfather was a drunkard and your younger aunt, Natasya, ran away with an architect and so on. So now, where were these things earlier, about 10 minutes before, when they were speaking so high about the, each other's families? And now within a few minutes, the things have changed. That is the way of life. And your mother was humpbacked, clutches at his heart, something pulling in my side, my head, help, water. Your father was a guzzling gambler. And there I haven't been, and there haven't been many backbiters to equal your aunt. So Chabukov, my left foot has gone to sleep. You are an intriguer. Oh my God, oh my heart. And it's an open secret that before the last elections, you, uh, I can see stars, where is my hat? It's low, it's dishonest, it's mean. So Chabukov's, you know, health is, uh, you know, uh, because he suffers from palpitations and anxiety, so he's not able to balance himself. So then this Natalia says, it's being dishonest, it's very mean. And you are just a malicious double-faced intriguer. Yes, here is my heart, my heart. Which way, where's the door? Oh, I think I'm dying, my foot is quite numb. So then Chabuka following him and don't set foot in my house again. Take it to court, we'll see. Devil take him walks uh, about in excitement. Natalia says, what a rascal. What trust can one have in one's neighbors after that? The villain, the scarecrow, the monster. First he takes our land and then he has the impudence to abuse us. And that blind hand, yes, that turnip ghost has the con confounded cheek to make a proposal and so on. What a proposal? What proposal? Why he came to propose you? To propose to me? Why didn't you tell me so before? So he dresses up in the evening clothes, the stuffed sausage, the wizened paste from. Okay, Natalia, to propose to me? Ah, she falls into the easy chair and wails, bring him back, back, ah, bring him back. So Natalia has come to know now that that fellow had come to propose her. So when she comes to know this, then. Uh, all her anger will disappear. So whatever she has said earlier, those things she'll forget. Bring whom here? Quick, quick, I'll, I'm ill, fetch him. What's that? What's the matter with you? Oh, unhappy man that I am. I'll shoot myself, I'll hang myself, we've done for her. I'm dying, fetch him. So Natalia is dying for that man now whom she was calling so many names just a few seconds before. So at once, don't yell. So Natalia, what have they done to me? Fetch him back, fetch him. So then he's coming and so on. Devil take him out, talk to him yourself. I don't want to. Natalia says, call him. He's coming, I'll tell you. Oh, what a burden, Lord, to be the father of a grown-up daughter. I'll cut my throat. I'll indeed. We cursed him, abused him, drove him out. And it's all you. You call him back now. No, it was you. I tell you, it's not my fault, Chabukov says. Lomov appears at the door. Now you talk to him yourself. Lomov enters in exhaustion. My heart is palpitating awfully. My foot has gone to sleep. There is something that keeps pulling in my side. Forgive us, Yvonne, we were all a little heated. I remember now, oxen feeders are really yours. Lobo, my heart is beating awfully. My meadows, my eyebrows are both twitching. 
the matters are yours yes yours do sit down so we were wrong i did it on principle my land is worth little to me but the principle so long of sell says like it's not about the land it's about my principle yes the principle just so let's talk of something else the more so as i have evidence my aunt's grandmother gave the land to your father's grandfather's peasants yes yes let that pass i wish i knew how to get him started are you going to start shooting soon i'm thinking of having a go at the black folk honored natalia after the harvest so or have you heard just think what a misfortune i have had my dog guess who you know has gone lame now lomo has started talking about the dog now natalia wants that uh, lomo should talk about uh, the proposal but lomo is going to talk about his dog now what a pity why i don't know must have gone his leg twisted or bitten by some other dog my very best dogs to say nothing <clears throat> of the expense i gave uh, mirunov 125 rubles for him means i spent so much for that dog it was too much ivan i think it was very cheap his first rate dog papa gave 85 rubles for his squeezer and squeezer is heaps better than guess so now natalia is praising her dog she says that ours dog is better than yours lobo squeezer better than guess oh, what an idea laughs squeezer better than guess of course he is better of course squeezer is young he may develop a bit but on points and pedigree is better than anything that even uh, this uh, 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 walchenski has got excuse me natalia but you forget that he is overshot and over and an overshot always means a dog is a bad, bad hunter overshot is he the first time i hear it i assure you that this lower jaw is shorter than the upper have you measured yes he is all right at following of course but if you want to get hold of anything in the first place our squeezer is a thoroughbred animal the son of harness and the chisels while there is no getting at the pedigree of your dog at all he is old and as ugly as a worn out crab cab horse so natalia praises her dog and at the same time uh, degrades the dog of this boy but long ago he is old but i won't take five squeezers for him why how can you guess is a dog as for squeezer well it's so funny to argue anybody you like has a dog as good as squeezer you may find them under every bush almost 25 rubles and would be a handsome price to pay for them. there is some demon of contradiction in you today ivan first you pretend that the meadows are yours now that guess is better than squeezer i don't like people who don't say what they mean because you know perfectly well that squeezer is a hundred times better than your silly guess why do you want to say this isn't i see natalia that you consider me either blind or a fool you must realize that squeezer is overshot it's not true he is it's not true why shout madam why talk rot it's awful it's time your guess was shot and you compare him with squeezer excuse me i cannot continue this discussion my heart heart is palpitating palpitating i have noticed that those hunters argue most who know least madam please be silent my heart is going to pieces shut up i shan't shut up until you acknowledge that squeezer is 100 times better than your guess 100 times worse be hanged to your squeezer his head eyes shoulder there is no need to hang your silly guess he is half dead already shut up my heart's bursting i shan't shut up then chubukup comes what's the matter now papa tell us truly which is the better dog squeezer or guess stephen i implore you to tell me just one thing is your squeezer overshot or not yes or no and suppose he is what does it matter he is the best dog in the district for all that and so on but isn't my guess better really now don't excite yourself my precious one allow me your guess certainly has his good points he is a pure bred firm on his feet has well sprung ribs and all that but my dear man if you want to know the truth that dog has two defects he is he is old and he is short in the muzzle lomo 
excuse me my heart let's take the facts you will remember that on the uh, on the bursunly hunt my guest ran neck and neck with the count dogs while your squeezer was left a whole verse behind so lomov stock who has been who has been accused of being old he proves that he is despite the fact he is braver than yours one he got left behind because the count's whipper in hit him with his whip so jabukov gives her gives a reason like because he was hit with the whip and with good reason the dogs are running after a fox when squeezer goes and starts worrying a sheep it's not true my dear fellow i'm very liable to lose my temper and so just because of that let's stop arguing you started because everybody is always jealous of everybody else's dogs yes we are all like that you too sir aren't blame this so you know longer so you know sooner begin with this that and the other and all that i remember everything i remember too i remember too what do you remember my heart my foot's gone to sleep i can't teasing my heart what sort of hunter are you you ought to go and lie on the kitchen oven and catch black beetles not go after foxes my heart so natalia you know teases lomov for his uh, for uh, the fact that he's so weak chubukov yes really what sort of hunter are you you ought to sit at home with your uh, palpitations and not go tracking animals you could go hunting but you only go to argue with people and interfere their dogs and so on let's change the subject in case i lose my temper you're not a hunter at all anyway so lomov and are you a hunter you only go hunting to get in with a co count and to intrigue oh my heart you are an intriguer what i am an intriguer shut up intriguer boy pup so so this is how they are like fighting like very small kids shut up or i'll shoot you like the like a partridge you fool everybody knows that oh my heart your late wife used to beat you my feet temples parks i fall so though this lomov is not able to balance himself yet he doesn't stop talking like that chubukov and you are under the slipper of your housekeeper there are there are there are my heart's burst my shoulders come off where is my shoulder i die a doctor na chubukov boy milk sop fool i'm sick drinks water sick what sort of hunter are you you can't even sit on a horse so papa what's the matter with him papa look so he's dead chubukov i'm sick i can't breathe here so natalia he's dead she pulls lomov's sleeves ivan what have you done to me he's dead a doctor doctor chubukov what's it what's the matter he's dead who is dead so he is my word water a doctor so then they bring water to his mouth drink this no he is he doesn't drink it means he is dead and all that i am the most unhappy of men why don't i put a bullet into my brain why haven't i cut my throat yet what am i waiting for give me a knife give me a pistol so then lomov moves he seems to be coming round bring some water that's right i see stars mist where am i hurry up and get married and well to the devil with you she is willing so now chubukov uh, winds up the matter uh, before lomov comes to senses and again start talking about some new topic now chubukov uh, wraps up the things and she he says like now you get up and get married and she is also willing so lomov getting up hey what to whom she is willing well kiss and be damned to you he is alive yes yes i am willing so natalia without thinking says yes i am willing so they kiss each other kiss whom the very nice to excuse me what's all about oh now i understand my heart stars i am happy natalia and all so i am happy too so because what a weight of my shoulders out so means my burden is over today but still you will still admit that kiss is worse than squeezer no better worse well that's way to start your family bliss have some champagne is better words words so then chubukov trying to shout her down champagne champagne so point is finally the father shows his maturity and wraps up the whole matter and makes them get married together
okay the point is that disputes go on and on there is never end to the argumentation the fact is that live your life forget the differences and live your life that is what this play is about otherwise there is no sense but yes the sense is like uh, uh, the name of life is like you keep moving ahead forget the differences forget the past and uh, live your life which should really mean okay that's it the play is over i hope you might have also enjoyed because all the dialogues were very simple the dialogues were all about the disputes which the, this uh, natalia chubukov and even this lomov had about first they had fight about over the uh, oxen meadows and they had fight about the dogs guess and uh, was the other squeezer uh, so the way they were fighting just for uh, just to prove that they were right that we have seen okay finally uh, had so that's why the elderly people should be there because it's only they who know how to manage the affairs okay have you understood the play raise hand if you have understood the play yes raise hands if you have understood the play okay okay only four children had raised hand are there what about others <clears throat> yes okay tomorrow will be the oral discussion of this play in the in this very class tomorrow we won't do anything else except discussing the questions tomorrow we will be discussing the play only okay we'll be like uh, uh, critically analyzing the play some dialogues will be picking up and then we'll be reading discussing these questions right so whatever the back exercises are to be done you can do them side by side right